I'm just going to get into the Sesta Keyboy Trust really quick. If you've ever heard the saying, you're worth your weight in gold, well, when you are actually born, your weight in pounds is taken into account and the system sets up a trust fund for you, a trust account, in your Christian name. They take your weight in pounds and they put that exact weight in gold for you in your Christian credit or trust. Now, that's there to set you up for life. So when you come of age, 18, 21, you can either decide to stay and remain with God on the side of God and stay with Christ and be a Christian. Or you can enter into the system and register yourself and you become an adult or an adulterer, which is just somebody who leaves their estate or their nation to join another. So basically, we turn our back on God when we do that. Now, we're never taught this because, you know, nobody really properly reads the Bible anymore. This is what the Bible actually warned against. So the little key that's there when you're 18, 21, you have your party, that, that key, that is actually the key to your Sesta Key by Trust and your way out of the system and having to go through life the way everybody else did, becoming an adulterer or a pagan. Because the pagan really means to pay again because you're paying for all of your debts again. If you remain with Christ, your debts are already paid for. This is why Jesus said in my name, only you shall be saved. In other words, that means your Christian name. And then spiritually, your soul is saved when you accept Christ. And all of your debts have already been paid for. But because you've decided that you want to be in control of your life, you want to be your own God, you become a pagan and you, instead of are gifted the land, the energy, mineral wealth, all the resources, the reserves in the land, all of that is yours. But you left your estate and now you have to pay for all of it again. So as a pagan, you, you know, go to college, you get your loans, you uh, sign up for a death pledge or a mort gauge is what it's more commonly known as. It's actually called a death grip because it's the ultimate leverage you can have over somebody. And um, this is what happens when I think generations of our ancestors just forsaken God and becoming pagans. Everyone turned their back and this is this is what has happened. But I think we're coming to the end of days now and this is what has been prophesied that anything that has been hidden is now seen which is what the term apocalypse really means because we have all these things now like uh, you know the world everything is to do with the world the world health organization the world economic forum world doctors alliance this is a satanic creation same with human human is actually a monster or color of man so you'll hear buzzwords like humankind and you know, person, all this type of stuff. This was a world, worldly satanic creation. God created the earth and he created mankind. And um, yeah, that's just a very, very brief description of what the Sesta Kivoy Trust is. And the system is so corrupt that when you find this out, in Roman Canon Law 2057, it says that when you, if you figure this out and you come back, on the land because after the age of 25 you're deemed lost and dead at sea so you can never come back to claim reclaim your estate if before the age of 25 you do figure this out and you make it very clear to the vatican you write your notice autograph and put your red thumbprint on there they're supposed to give you everything back plus interest but uh, they don't do that because the system is so corrupt this is the kind of problem you might come into I came into this when I was trying to acquire my live born record and um, after the age of 25 I was told that they are confidentially destroyed really what it is is you're deemed lost and dead at sea and that you can never come back to reclaim your estates and your birthright that God granted you when you were born Chaos.